Hey there, Bulldog Country. This week we're talking with senior linebacker on the UMD football team, Gus Wedig, about this weekend's homecoming game. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Torrent flipped it in there. I have follow went to the net. They combined to get this. Hi, my name is Gus. I'm number 44 on the UMD football team. So let's get straight to it. It's homecoming week here in Duluth, and that means a game against Southwest Minnesota State this weekend. How have the Bulldogs been preparing for the big game on Saturday? Um, well, you know, the guys that were here two years ago, we definitely remember when we went down to Marshall, and uh, they, kind of, they kind of beat us pretty bad. I mean, we gave up 42 points, and uh, so we've been taking that to heart, definitely kind of using that for fuel. And uh, yeah, we've, been, we've been laser focused, so I'm, I'm pretty excited for this weekend. And this will be your fifth homecoming game with UMD. Gus, how surreal is it to be five years down the road playing in your final homecoming? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's actually crazy. I mean, it, it, it you don't really pay attention to it until yeah, someone <laughs> brings it up and you're like, whoa, wow, okay, yeah, I've been here for five years now. It, so, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, with the weather kind of getting like this, it's hard to get the old uh, old achy body moving, but. It, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm amazed I actually made it five years. That's crazy. Does it feel any different this year than the first year, or does it kind of just get that same feeling every single year? Um, it, it's it's similar to the same feeling, but I mean, yeah, like you said, fifth year, there's a little bit more like this is kind of really it. So you got to lay it all out more than you ever really have before. So. Well, and speaking of the team is currently six and zero oh this season, which is the strongest start we've seen since the Bulldogs since 2014, which was your freshman year. Mm -hmm. What is it about this team that's bringing so much success? Um, honestly, just the chemistry. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a starter or if you're a redshirt guy. Everybody on the team, we're friends. We get along. And, you know, if, if someone needs to step in to someone's spot, they will, and they'll give everything. They'll lay it, lay it down on the line for the guy next to them, which is awesome. And what do you think are the key components for continuing this momentum to keep adding to that winning streak? Um, just come, come to practice in the games with the same energy every day. You know, sometimes, yeah, I like the weather, you can't control that, but you can control your effort and your attitude towards practice and how you attack meetings and practice as well. And despite your upper body injury last year, causing you to miss about a third of the season, you still racked up a career high of 47 tackles, coming just behind former Bulldog Zach Belsinger for most tackles of the season. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back full force, and what advice do you have to aspiring college athletes about the mental game of dealing with season-altering injuries? Um, I mean, yeah, last year it, it was it was tough, and I'm glad that you know I, stats don't really mean a whole lot to me, but I'm. I'm still kind of shocked I actually ended up second on the team with missing uh, quite a few games. But, uh, you know, the athletes out there that they get in a tough injury or in a tough spot, now I feel for you. It's it's tough, but you just got to keep grinding through. You know, there's there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to keep pushing and keep grinding. And especially with a mentality like that, I think it's safe to say you are arguably one of the most influential players on the team. How would you describe yourself as a teammate? Uh, yeah, I mean, during the game, I could be playing the worst game I've ever played, but I, I won't let anybody else know that. I'll just still be the same, yelling, hooping and hollering, dancing and having fun, just to provide energy for my teammates so that they can keep performing better. And yeah, that's about and a it. A few seasons ago, you coined the self descriptive term, the goose is loose. Can you describe to us what this phrase means and where it all started? Um, yeah, so actually, my nickname's Gus. It's not even my real name. My real name is Christian. So they have. I have a nickname for my nickname. So Goose came from Gus, and then yeah, I think my first year of eligibility, I came out of the bulldog head with my arms out, and they said the goose is loose. Uh, I think it was. I don't even remember who it was. It was a long time ago, but yeah. So that that started, and then my mom made t-shirts that have the goose is loose which everyone keeps asking me where they can buy those shirts and then they, I, it's just my family i got them yeah i know <laughs>
You've always been one of the most animated players in the team, like you said, whether it's your entrance on the field, the tuck jersey, or a bleach mohawk. What's the energy like out there that gets you so passionate about the game? Um, I mean, I've always been very passionate of the game. I mean, my dad's been a head coach for football for my whole life. Since I was born, I mean, my first present was a Christmas present, and it was a stuffed football. So I've been around for so my love for the game's never, never been a question. But I mean, this year, yeah, like earlier, it's my last year. Got to like, got to lay it all out, and yeah, just stay happy. And with this being your last se uh, season, what are your post UMD plans? And you can do you continue to keep football in there? Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be coaching football. I mean, playing football after college, probably not. I mean, that's just a tough reality of it. Um, but, yeah, I'll probably go back home, help my dad out coach, which is going to be really fun. It's going to be cool. Have my brother as an offensive coordinator, my dad as a head coach, and me as a defensive coordinator. That's kind of been a goal for all of us, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to do that. And then hopefully a year or two after that, um, uh, move on, be a head coach somewhere in Wisconsin.